Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear Workshop. My name is Pat Bear. Merry Christmas. I'm here to build a Lego set and hang out with all of you. I'm throwing the Bear Cave, the Lego, and the Tier 2 Blue Emote. If you are currently a subscriber, you can reply with those emotes. If you're not yet a subscriber, you can say hi or use other people's emotes, or you could be a lurker, and that's also okay. And before we get any farther, uh, I want to just do a quick cha-ching. And thank Harold for the 110 bits before the stream even started. Also, hello, Lashbrook. Hello, Harold. Hello, Aristophan. Uh, um, happy holidays. Merry Christmas Eve to everyone out there. Thank you for uh, deciding to spend some of your holiday with me, your friend Pat. Uh, it is Christmas Eve. I will be working on a Lego set that is related to the holiday. The Lego Christmas Penguin. Um, and it's pointed out to me on Twitter, hey, how big is that penguin? Because the Christmas tree is very small. It's a teeny Christmas tree, not a giant penguin. But also, it could be both. Um, so we're working on, on that now. This is going to take most of the stream. Will it take all the stream? Probably not. And then we'll go back to the Ale Strike Gundam from uh, 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 that we were working on uh, previously. Um uh, and we'll go back to that. Uh, we're taking a pause from that so that we can do a holiday build. But then we can just go back to that and that's no problem. And I also know what I'm building after that because it won my $10 patrons poll. Um, and it's the kit I talked about on Thursday. Of course, that won. Um, we also will talk uh, briefly about another kit uh, that I will be building soon, but not now. Um, uh because that's important to talk about. Uh, Mr. Bob is here. Hello, Mr. Bob. Welcome, welcome. And thank you for everybody for uh, spending any time with me here on the old Build with Bear. Um, it is uh, great to spend some time with you. I often would take Christmas Eve or Christmas Day off. Uh, I'm happy I'm not. I'm happy I'm streaming tonight. I think it's just going to be a fun evening with all of you. Uh, I am going to retweet my tweets, even get a few more friends to join us tonight. Uh... And then we'll uh, we'll get into some Lego building. Also, God, I love building Lego on stream. Y'all, I can really focus on what's going on, which is just really nice for me uh, because this is, this is so much easier compared to other things, just assembling Lego like this um, as we build this uh, penguin. So, uh, speaking of model kits, as I said, there is a poll. I am going to put the link to said poll in uh here uh for y'all in the chat it will also be in the show notes for the youtube archive um but you can take a look here at this link to my twitter page uh that's right i have a twitter still um i put up a link that says i'm going to spend a big gift card this is an amazon gift card that i received for christmas um on one expensive model kit from my amazon wish list and you decide what i buy um, and you have three choices, the Eclipse Gundam Master Grade, the Providence Gundam Master Grade, or the Gundam Heavy Arms uh, Eagle Unit Master Grade. So all three are Master Grades, which is nice. And um, if I would describe these uh, to y'all, y'all, um, and there are photos in the reply to it. I replied with, with, with photos so that people can see uh, what I'm talking about there. Um, the Eclipse, we've built a variation of the Eclipse before. Um, uh, Eclipse is like, it feels like it should transform into a jet, but it doesn't. Uh, good color scheme. It is a main-ass Gundam. The Providence Gundam, it has a backpack that looks like a fucking spaceship. It is, it is the most Millennium Falcon any Gundam has ever looked. And then the uh, Eagle unit for the Gundam Heavy Arms is from the manga... It is the original Heavy Arms, but it has a bigger backpack for bullets, and they added more rockets. It has more. It has just so many more rockets. It has additions of rockets to the shoulder unit, uh, and an addition of rockets to the sides, and then it has um, like tank treads to support all of the new rockets that were added to it. Uh, and it's massive. Uh, and right now, that is winning the poll. Um, uh, it has all the rockets in Dieter Uh I have in, kept in a... Um, uh, I made it long so that people could vote for, for a while. 
uh because it won't end until monday i believe yeah i've set to end like monday at like five um and right now 40 people have voted uh, i'm gonna hit the old refresh just double check that yeah right now 40 people have voted and the uh the heavy arms uh eagle uh, is now at 57.5%. Uh, Aristavan is saying did vote for the Millennium Falcon, the Providence Gundam. Uh, look, I love the Providence Gundam. It's it's nonsense. Uh, and I, and I you know me, I appreciate nonsense. Um, I think Eclipse is... Here's the thing. I think the Eclipse, if I remember correctly, that might be a premium, originally a premium kit, which is the only reason why it's as expensive as it, are, as it is. Uh, that is definitely the case for the uh the eagle unit um which i just was broke when that was up for pre-order and so i didn't get it uh i have since added an even more expensive because that's the most expensive on amazon i've added an even more expensive kit on amazon because someone sent me a link and was like hey pat did you know that the tall geese the, the tall geese with the gundam wing uh the wing zero wings is on amazon and i was like i did not know that Oh, I'm putting that on my wish list as the most, the new most expensive item. Because that's the thing; these are all these sp expensive kits on my wish list, and then I remove the, uh, uh, then I just like take it off the wish list because I bought it myself, and then hopefully I add new expensive kits. Am I expecting anyone to ever buy these very expensive kits? No, but one time someone did buy the perfect grade. Sorry. The Wing Gundam Perfect Grade, which is probably still the most expensive kit ever purchased on my wish list, was bought on my wish list. So it's possible that someone someday might be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm going to get that. I'll get that pack." Um, this is a very cool looking snowflake pattern that we're putting in here. Uh, so these kits, these like, um, these Lego sets. Uh, the bases always have a secret because we're literally going to cover this this secret or this base up. This is just for the people that build or in this case, the people that watch and the people that build. So this is not going to be like there's a, the Valentine's one we did had a heart, a hidden heart inside uh, the, the stand or the, the base, which I, I think is really fun. And this one has a fun snowflake hidden in there that you wouldn't know is in here unless you built it, which I think is pretty neat. Um, so yeah, uh, that is the whole thing. Uh, um, I just have, uh, uh, Lindsay Kelk, who is a, uh, a podcaster and writer. I mean, her main job is being a writer, um, uh, of romance novels and the like in children's books. But I also know Lindsay, uh, as one third of the Tights and Fights podcast, a, a wrestling podcast um uh that is on the maximum fun network um and Lindsay has just discovered the joys of muppet family christmas uh because it just just was not on her radar um and so i am thrilled to know that as a muppet family christmas supporter and lover i watched it again today friends i this is my second viewing of the season because that special rules it's just lovely and everyone in it is great it's the guy from fraggle rock goes the 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 human from fraggle rock goes and rents a house for the holiday to get away from everything with his dog sprocket um he's a real human the sprocket is a, a muppet uh dog and it's fozzy's mom fozzy bear's mom and then there's a bad snowstorm and she gets stuck at the house and can't go on her own trip. But also, unbeknownst to her, Fozzie has organized a trip of Sesame Street uh, friends to go and visit and Muppets to go and visit his mom and stay there. And he invites too many people and everybody fucking shows up. It's awesome. Uh, the frag the Kermit and his nephew Robin stumble upon Fraggle fucking rock. Uh, there is also a point where there's home movies being shown. And the home movies are of them as children. And it's technically the Muppet Babies. Although it's not a cartoon. It's it's them as, as Muppets. Uh, 
So technically, all four major things are all crossover in that one. There's a medley of songs. Fozzie sings I'll Be Home for Christmas to his mom. There's a snowman. There's just a vaudevillian snowman. And he and Fozzie do a routine and people laugh. And Fozzie can't fucking believe it that, like, people laughed at his jokes. Swedish chef is in charge of the co- the cooking because of course he is and he meets Big Bird and freaks the fuck out about how big big uh large Big Bird is how big Big Bird is but then of course he can't kill Big Bird so they're just going to have a bunch of vegetarian food um it's wonderful miss piggy makes like the best entrance in a movie her entrance is just remarkable uh it's oh it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing there's wonderful song the count gets to sing i saw three ships come sailing in uh because of course he should they're all singing and having a good time and then it cuts to the kitchen And Jim Henson is washing dishes and says to Sprocket, it's nice when they're all together. And I have seen this TV special dozens and dozens of times. And it gets me every time. It got me now. It's so good. Mm. Such a good special. I have the UK. I have a, uh, a DVD rip. Of the UK release because the original broadcast on on the VHS tape had some stuff from the original broadcast cut because they didn't have the rights to a couple things. Which also includes a lot of the very fucking good back and forth between Fozzie and the the Snowman. So I have the UK DVD release which is, has all of that shit. It has everything. So I have a rip of that. Uh, Muppet Christmas Carol is an all-time great movie, uh, Christmas movie, indeed, Zombie Pie, also, hey, Zombie Pie, thanks for coming in, uh, thanks for spending a little time here, um, you're not wrong, that is very, very good, uh, and then, uh, Mr. Bob says, Disney needs to do something good with the Muppets, yeah, I mean, like, the Muppet movie, the Muppet movies that came out, like, diminishing returns on those, but still a valiant effort to, like, do something with the Muppets in a fun way. Uh, the first Disney reboot 2011 uh, Muppet movie was good. Yeah, totally. Um, uh, and it's like, yeah, th- there could be something there with it. Um, every once in a while. Like, I think uh, the Muppets TV, the last Muppets TV show where they're just doing, like, Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, uh, to the point of it being about Kermit and Ms. Piggy, like, be, not being a couple anymore, is, like, an interesting... Basically, they took what could have been a funny sketch on SNL and made it a TV show, and it was like, you shouldn't have made this. What? This should be a parody in your new Muppet show. Like, what? Uh, the digital Muppets of the early 2010s the YouTube Muppet, uh, who were not the same people as some of the other Muppets, uh, that is probably the best modern use outside of the movie, uh, was like having Beaker sing like Bohemian Rhapsody. Like it's a lot of weird stuff that they were doing a lot of weirdness in that, that I can appreciate uh, as far as Muppets go. Um, uh, and then I just want to get ahead of this because people ask me because I talk about Muppet Christmas Carol, of course, and Muppet Family Christmas, uh, which is which is my favorite. Uh, I get asked, well, Pat, what's your opinion on Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas? And my opinion on Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas was, is this. I don't ever need to see it again because it's so sad. It's so sad and so melancholy and beautiful it's a beautiful story and the songs are good but it doesn't need to harold's looking forward to the electric mayhem series hell yeah i love electric mayhem um but 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 in my opinion emma daughter's junk band christmas is like 
just so goddamn sad that I don't know if I ever need to see it again. But I would, I would probably see it again. You know what I mean? I probably would. Uh, Arista fan, watch the John Dever Muppet special today. He is having so much fun in that special. Oh, that's the thing about the Muppet show that like, there are two kinds of, sorry, I should say this. There are three kinds of guests on the Muppet show. There is someone that is just there doing a job and they are professional and they're doing their job and that's fine. And then there are people that are, cannot fucking believe that they are on the Muppet show. They're doing shit with Jim Henson's Muppets. They cannot believe the fortune they have. And then there are the third category, which is the best category, which is, I'm just here to do a job. Actually, I can't fucking believe I'm here on the Muppet show. It's the people that are having a great time doing it, but are acting like this is just another gig. Uh, and those are... Uh, my favorites, like, uh, oh God, I used to, I used to be able to rattle off the examples of this. Um, John Denver is just having a great time. Uh, uh, and there, there ain't no stopping John Denver for having a great time in there. Um, Bernadette Peters, Bernadette Peters is having, uh, an incredibly good time on the Muppet show, but is acting very professionally on the Muppet show, but is clearly having a very good time. Uh, that caliber of, of actor uh, that is just like, can you believe this? But, hmm. Yeah. Um, God. Some of that is so good. Uh, do I have any other? Yeah, so. I guess, like, I will just kind of say, transition to do. I had a pretty good Christmas Eve. Um, my folks and I exchanged gifts on Christmas Eve. We like to do that. Um Instead of Christmas Day, we do stockings on Christmas Day and main presents on Christmas Eve. Uh, and uh, as mentioned, I do have my uh, uh, big Amazon gift card. I got some clothing that I requested, which is nice to get a little refresh on a few clothing items uh, that I don't have to worry about. Oh, we, need, we need one of these. Great. Um, and then uh, what else again? Oh, I got a Lego set. I posted the link to the Lego set there. It's a um, Miles Morales Lego set that is just like a Miles Morales like figure. We're making like a Lego figure uh, of Miles, and we'll, of course that'll go into voting and eventually will be built on stream. Is this this is not right? So I have messed up somewhere. Something is wrong because no, this is right. Actually, never mind. This is right. I'm looking. That's right. Okay. Uh, this will be this is going to be the base for our penguin and the tree and i want to make sure i do this correctly so i'm just trying to make sure that i'm putting these pieces where they belong uh and that's going to go like that okay uh so that was nice i'd like to hear from you chat if you would like um what you get up to uh, this christmas eve do you, or what are your christmas day plans uh christmas day just eating food with the fam um nothing major uh had a little weird thing where we got a note from UPS saying, hey, we tried to deliver your package, but they hadn't tried to deliver the package. There was because we were all home and it was just like, what the fuck? And I just got um, very mad at UPS. But then the package did arrive and it was one of those things where they left a note and I like scanned the code. And then there was like, oh, still processing, which is just like, what? I'm like, did they just like go around sticking notes on packages they weren't sure if they were going to deliver or not. It was very weird. But anyway, it did get delivered. Uh, and it was a package from my aunt, uh, great uncle. Uh, who sent... He sends a, a, a big box uh, with wine and cheese... Not cheeses, but like crackers and like olives and a bunch of other things. Um, but yeah, I'd like to hear from you, chat. Uh, what do you got into uh, this Christmas holiday? Um, there is pie, there is apple pie that I have not eaten yet because, uh, tonight's dinner was my dad's lasagna and a pot roast. Uh, 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 what am I saying? Pot roast. I mean, prime rib. I said pot roast. I meant prime rib. We had lasagna and prime rib, which is maybe an odd pairing, but it was very good. The prime rib was, was very tasty. And the, uh, the lasagna was great. My dad makes a fantastic lasagna. And we got plenty of leftovers of that, which we're very happy about. Tomorrow, we are doing our traditional Christmas, which is just 
Thanksgiving too. It's like a few less sides, but it's mostly just Thanksgiving. We don't do a Christmas ham. We don't do a Christmas goose. We don't do a Christmas prime rib. Um, we do uh, we do a Christmas uh, uh, turkey and with all the trimmings and stuffing. And it, again, it's Thanksgiving too. Cranberry sauce, the whole thing. That's what this family does. Uh, I could certainly see myself someday not doing that uh, in my own traditions for Christmas, but that is what my folks like, and I am not going to tell them not to cook a bird. Uh, so yeah, so we got we got that. All right, I need these. I need six of these. Four, six. Let's see what do we got here. Uh, watch. Uh, no, that's right. My Christmas Eve is zombie. Uh, as many uh, know, thanks to Twitter, my mother marathoned One Piece. Uh, and it causing even my skeptical father to get into it. We have thought, I have thoughts on that, my friend. Uh, the rest of it says the ice is melting. Hell yeah. So my sister is coming over for pizza and cookie decorating. Some family coming over tomorrow as well. Presents, food, all that kind of thing. Hell yeah. I'm glad you're getting, uh, to do that. I know that, uh, the holidays have certainly dampered, uh, this holiday is certainly dampered, uh, by, uh, the weather and all of that. Um, and of course the usual, uh, worries about traveling just made worse by, by all of the 90% of the United States is just fucking cold yesterday. That, that was, that was the report I read that 90% of the United States was cold. And that is just like such a high weird number. You're like, oh, wow. Okay. That sounds, that sounds not great. Um, yeah. So Zombie tweeted about how, um, uh, their mother is marathoning One Piece and is causing uh, you know skeptical father to get into it. Yeah, just finding out your mom is watching anime is a fun discovery. Uh, and just being like, I wonder if it's cool that I'm doing that. And to that I say, like, it, it, hey, that that's the thing about anime is that it's just animation made in Japan. And there's a bunch of different kinds of it. And you can like what you like. I think there's a lot to get into show. I think if you are going to get into an anime, One Piece is a fun choice because there's so much of it that, like, you're not going to be like, oh, now what do I watch? Like, Chainsaw Man is going to have seasons, probably, most certainly, but, like, it had, there's a finite number of Chainsaw Man episodes. All right, we did, we're done with the base. Now we're working on the Penguin, which will be fun. We'll get into the Penguin time. Um, so... I love the idea of like, I'm getting into a show that has a thousand plus episodes. That is just fun to me. Uh, in the second hour, as always, friends, we will talk about some uh, anime uh, because it was the 13th episode and final episodes of uh, part two of uh, the first season of Spy Family. And it was the uh, 13th episode of season two of Uzaki Chen Wants to Hang Out. Uh, or as or as it was actually called, Uzaki Chan wants to hang out double. But I didn't want to do, call it that, so I just called it season two. Uh, Mr. Bob is building a table I got from a questionable goods store. Well, I uh, there is. I was about to say I hope the table isn't questionable, but then you followed up with uh, there's a missed uh, missed drilled hole. So maybe the table is also questionable, Mr. Bob. I hope you can work your magic and make that make that work. Oh, I got to put this like here. Let's just do that. We'll put this here. Um, uh, one thing I really love, I love about Lego is the use of these colors that are going to be on the... This is all going to be built on the inside of this uh, penguin. So we won't see any of this. So they're just using bright colors. Um, some people say they do that because it is cute. Some people say they do that to use colored Lego, uh, to use up colored Lego uh, that otherwise they had an excess of. Either way, it's a good call. Um, the table is for holding a humidifier, so whatever I got was going to have a bad life. Yes. It's not. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it just has to, it just has to work. Um, uh, Zombie Pie says, There was a moment where I had to explain to her it's okay for her to watch anime over the age of 30. She is in good company. I mean, there's, look, like, yeah, there's, there are all, hey, the thing you can say is, that there, that in Japan, there are animated series that people have watched their entire adult lives and from childhood up to adult, as long as the shows have aired, 
because like I always said the the the, the anime I always brought up was Hana Yuridango. Hana Yuridango is just a soap opera that they animated. Nothing spectacular or takes use of the medium of anime other than the fact that one it could run forever and none of the actors the characters would age so they could just always be a uh, a soap opera in 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 high school and young adult they only age when they want them to and it's just animated but it's like it was on during the day and it was a it was a show that housewives loved like yeah you can just watch anime if you want i mean you can also watch stuff that's like like one piece that's like young adult uh young male adult focused you can totally who cares but also like there are, there's so much different stuff i mean the thing we don't get here that often we rarely get here is children's anime because it's aimed at children and so if it's aimed at an age group that doesn't read it doesn't it doesn't get dubbed that often. Occasionally it does, but you don't see subtitled children's programming unless it's unless it's something they think that high teenagers would like, and then you'll see that because everybody understands that sometimes children's programming is also appreciated by high adults or teens. Uh, hey, Lord Crashes, and welcome. Last book, uh, watched Glass Onion which was pretty good. Caught about half of Bullet Train, which was pretty flashy, but I don't know how much substance it will have. Yeah, I don't know if Bullet Train is particularly great. I think it's a fun premise, but I don't know if it's a great movie. I have not seen Glass Onion. I still don't have Netflix. I have, have I was, I kept saying I was going to get it to watch um, Uncle from Another World, uh, Isekai Uncle, and then uh, that production got halted and then resumed, and now it's delayed again. So I'm waiting it for it to be done, and then I'll get Netflix for a month, and then I'll finally watch Isekai Uncle, uh, because, and that'll probably be my, like, anime from 2022 that I didn't watch until 2023, because I'm not, not letting it hurt me again. Uh, I do want to watch that, though. Um, yeah, so, uh, Christmas Day, the thing that, there's a weird, this is a odd uh, thing to say, so, uh, where I am in South Carolina is close to North Carolina. Uh, my cousin, uh, my my mom's brother's son, uh, he and his family come to the bottom of North Carolina specifically to see her family because her family lives there. So it doesn't take that long for them to come see us when they come down to see family. And supposedly we're going to see them and I can see my cousin and his wife and I can see my, uh, my, uh, my second cousins, their, uh, their children, um, who, uh, who at one point were calling me uncle Pat, but don't call me uncle Pat anymore. They call me cousin Patrick, which is weird. Um, um, I like the weird little bit in one piece at the end of the water seven arc. That had Luffy as a feudal Japan cop with bug yes with buggy. Yes. Yeah, some of that filler was actually pretty good. Um so uh, uh not exactly Mr. Bob, but like close enough. Uh but not not directly. We're not near that particular area. Um and that's kind of all I'll say on that. Um anyway, uh we're I'm supposed to see them. Uh, and that reminded me of a thing that I don't know if I've said this before, because it's weird to say, but, um, so this is a few years ago. Uh, you may remember the year of the, uh, first ever PAX South and how some people who were leaving PAX South that year ran into, tr or was it second PAX South? It was the second Pack South. Mm, was it the first Pack South? It was one of the two first Packs. It Paxes South. Um, there was an issue where there was a terrible snowstorm, uh, and a lot of people who were flying to where I was flying couldn't get there. Um, couldn't get home easily, so I could not get a flight to New York. What I could do was get a flight uh, to very close to my cousin. And his family. And I crashed there with them for a night. And the next day, 
the trains were back and they drove me to the train station. And on the way to the train station, uh, my cousin's wife, who is my cousin by marriage, was like, you know, we've never talked about this, but my uh, my cousin, uh, so this is uh, her cousin, who I'm, I'm not related to, except by blood, I guess, was like, you know, my cousin uh, does stuff at UCB in L.A., the Upper Citizens Brigade Theater. I was in New York stable, uh, uh, a staple, but she's out in L.A. You might know her. And I was like, yeah, I get... Look, here's the thing. There are people who went through all the classes that were on house teams I never met in L.A. I visited the L.A. theater once. I did not have a deep connection with the L.A. theater. Uh, also, a lot of people claim UCB because they took a class. There are a lot of people in New York I never met, right? So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure I, I'm sure I haven't, but but maybe I have. Oh, what is your cousin's name? And goes, June. And I was like... Did June go to NYU and do stuff in New York first? And uh, and my cousin's wife said, "Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I didn't really um, I I never really knew her too much because we're not necessarily the same age. But her dad and uh, spent a lot of time at my house, so that that's kind of how I know June. And I was like, June Diane. He was like, yes, June Di Diane Rayfield." And I was like, okay, yeah, I know your, your cousin very fucking well because that's June of How Did This Get Made, whose husband, Paul Shear, I knew for many, 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 many years at UCB and is like a friend of mine. And I was like, so that means my cousin's wife's cousin is, is June married to Paul. So by ma by marriage, I am I am not related to Paul Shear, but like I have a weird through marriage connection through two different marriages to like an old old friend of mine, and then happened to by happenstance Paul was in town. Uh, uh, Paul Shear was in town um, uh, a couple of years after that. And I, I hadn't seen him in a long time. So we were chatting and we we're getting to it. I was like, hey, when you get back, if you remember, tell June. First, I'll say hi to June. And then also tell June that uh, um, that I'm that my cousin married her cousin. And he was like, what? And so I explained the whole thing. And he's just like, that's just so weird. And it is. It's just so weird. Like, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you, friends. Okay, wait. That goes like that. That goes like that. But that doesn't connect right like that. What am I doing wrong here? I put these on like this. Okay, so I got this like this. Does this go on like that then? And I could... Oh, okay. That's what happens and I can't see that. All right. I got it now. Anyway, it's fucking weird that I am through marriage related to a friend of mine. Uh, the two-thirds of the How Did This Get Made podcast are somehow connected to me other than just our friendship very weird i'm now more connected to that than i am on the two occasions that jason manzoukas at a live or jason manzoukas just referenced me at some point on that show to pop i don't know the other panelists uh he didn't he had he didn't have green lantern's oath memorized and he was like pat's gonna be so mad at me and i wasn't obviously but it was very funny when i did see him to be like uh, so I listened to the podcast and he goes, what did I make? What happened? Because why would he remember? That's a big takeaway, friends. Remember, people that are on podcasts don't remember what they said on a podcast. You remember. They don't. That's a very important thing for you to know. I, he was like, you said, on, you said on an episode, the Green Lantern episode, that I would be mad that you don't know Green Lantern's oath. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Paul laughed at that. I was like, yeah, of course he did. It's a funny bit. It's a good joke. I I I, I was not mad that he. I was I was not upset. Uh, all right, so I gotta put this on here. 
Uh, I was going to go to my parents' place for Christmas, says Lord Crashton, and then an aunt's house for extended family stuff, but the extended thing was canceled due to uh, enough people getting sick. Uh-oh. Or being sick. Uh, I'm just hanging out at my parents' place for a few hours instead. Yeah. I mean, better safe than sorry. Like, hey, if it isn't COVID, it's probably that flu, and you don't... Hey, none of y'all want that flu. Please don't get that flu. Uh, it, it's bad. Uh, people on podcasts say too much on podcasts to remember any one thing. Yes, I always say that. Like, your inside joke is not a thing they remember. Um, uh, I, I, it's not recorded on camera, but one of the giant bomb, uh, um, uh, panel shows, one of the giant bomb packs panel shows, uh, somebody asked a question in the Q and A and you can see the entire group is like confused about what this person just said. And then someone in the front row, who is not me or anyone you know, is just an audience person, maybe it's someone you know, uh, just yells, uh, and it's not picked up on the audio, but you can see them understand it. it goes, just yells, podcast joke. And they're like, oh, it was a podcast joke. Okay, yeah, we don't, I don't know. We don't, you know, you know, like, sure. Uh, yes, unless it becomes a recurring gag. Like, the bet, like, look, if it's a podcast joke and, um, somebody makes like an animation of it or clips it and it gets shared around. Like some of that stuff does get remembered, right? Like if it's a story or like, you could say like something about a hotel and like, you're not going to narc on me, are you? And like members that were at that podcast episode from giant bomb might remember that you, that that was the thing where, uh, Ryan accidentally narked on, uh, people. Uh, didn't realize he was going to narc by just tweeting. Um, like that, because that was a big thing, so it might be remembered by, by people. But in general, it, 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 it takes a lot for people to remember things. Um, uh, what is everyone excited for in 2023? Uh, somebody says, uh, I gotta say, Ruby Soho and Willow Nightingale tag teaming in AW is on my list. I'm very excited about that, uh, Zombie Pie. Um, so I don't have much planned for 2023 i will once again be uh uh participating most likely if not by streaming for it at the very least i will be helping with promotion for plamo weekender which will be in april it unfortunately is usually the week before uh the community endurance run the giant bomb uh, uh charity streams uh it is usually right before that um but i will be do i will be uh either streaming or just helping promote the plastic model weekender uh which of course uh benefits the alzheimer's fund um i raised over almost 900 uh this year for that and so i'll be participating again that is an easy thing for me to be excited about um i don't have a lot left to to say on that um I don't know. Wrestle Kingdom looks like it's going to be pretty fucking good. I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm always looking forward to watching wrestling with friends. I am on a Discord where uh, uh, wrestling is watched and talked about. Uh, that makes me very happy. It is not necessarily... It was not the intent of that originally. Uh, and there are other discussions, but there's often discussion of wrestling. And that is very fun to, uh, to be able to hang out and chat about that. Um... But yeah, I would love to hear from from people about that. That's a great prompt. Uh, if there is something that you are like, hell yeah, Pat, I'm very excited about this. I'll say this. Uh, I got a pleasant surprise today. I tweeted about it. Anytime this happens, I tweet about it. And I also talk about it on stream. I got a surprise residuals check today. So I am grateful for that. It is not an incredible amount of money, but it's money. I, it's a surprise check. I was not expecting it. Uh, it is residuals for selling to a foreign market, um, uh, I believe subtitled, uh, Season 3 of Difficult People. I am in Episode 1 of Season 3 of Dic Difficult People, a.k.a. the final season of Difficult People, uh, and I received a residual check. That is a sag After show. I am not a member of sag After, but because I was on a sag After show... Uh, I do receive residuals for that, uh, for that. Uh, 
the union, uh, the combined SAG after union does look out for people that were on a show like that. Uh, and I'm grateful for that. I am obviously pro union and also pro getting surprise checks. Um, it does unfortunately mean that I will have to, because even though they mail it to me in South Carolina, they do record my address as being uh, a New York address because that was the address I used on the original paperwork. So I will have to file state taxes in New York, which I can do for free, but I will have to file state taxes for New York to basically say, Hey, I made this money. And then I will get it. it, it basically I'm, it's fine. I will, I will pay nothing. I might even get a couple dollars back. It won't, I won't get enough back to cover the postage to mail it in. Um, but it, which is frustrating, but it's surprise money that I did earn in the past. And I am grateful for that because it, it fucking rules. Uh, a surprise, surprise money is, is good money. That's what I'm saying. Um, Last week says my job situation should hopefully get a lot better in 2023. That would be nice. I would also hope your job situation gets better in 2023. Uh, that would be great. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for you, Lashbrook. And Lord Crashton says, at least the $600 IRS thing is not happening anymore. Yes. Um, that is huge. That is being uh, postponed. And basically, if it does go into effect, it, it isn't right now. But last minute, that is like this couple, last couple days, they were like, it's now $20,000. So that is huge. Uh, uh, it, I'm going to look up the actual uh, information about that because I did, of course, retweet that because wrestlers are fo so fucking sucked. So the IRS is delaying a requirement for e-commerce platforms, including Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, and Etsy, to send tax forms to customers who have transactions of more than $600. Uh, that is being delayed right now by the IRS, mostly because I think it would just overwhelm the already overwhelmed IRS. So they're just like, uh, we'll deal with that later. Uh, so that is huge. Um, and uh, Edith Surreal, wrestler extraordinaire. She is fantastic. Um, formerly uh, uh, still painting of apricots and pears. Uh, now Edith Surreal, um, the first ever uh, uh, recognized a non-binary U.S. champion of a major independent wrestling promotion. Uh, now, uh, using she, her. Uh, uh, the IRS, uh, she says, Happy Christmas to sole providers, freelancers, and professional wrestlers. Yeah, I'm fucking psyched that I won't have to, like... Uh, where I don't have to deal with that. Um, yes, that is huge. Uh, especially like independent wrestlers, people that get paid on, on that kind of thing. Um, that wasn't going to affect me too much. Um, uh, because it was depend because like I did have some payments come through, uh, pretty significantly in some ways, but like, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, it's good. Shit's good. Uh, and, uh. People that have not been prepping for that are grateful, and people who have been prepping for that are like, "Oh, okay, good." Whew. But yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be that's real nice to see. That was a lovely thing to see on my Twitter feed today. We're like, "Oh, fuck yeah!" Uh, we're working on the penguin here. Still, still gonna work on this penguin. Um, oh, I should say this. Uh, uh, but the second hundred thing, I think I talked about that. Uh. The wind died down around here. Give you that uh, weather update. The wind died down, and that's great because it has been not great around here. Uh, it, it, again, cold. Look. Uh, hey, Dirty subscribed to Tier 1. That's 40 months. Thank you so much, Dirty, uh, for 40 whole months. Let's throw the Barricade Lego site them out in the chat. Uh, say thank you for that to Dirty. For the applause there. The applause. The applause. The applause. Uh, 40 months is a whole lot of months. Thank you for your continued support, Dirty. Appreciate it very much. Um, yeah, so, uh, normally I bike in the garage, uh, cause you know, I'm here in the South. Um, I bike in the garage and I open the garage door today, did not open the garage door and put on my dad's Raiders jacket. I felt like I, it's not a starter jacket, but it is a Raiders jacket, uh, a big puffy Raiders jacket. 
And I felt like I was back in like middle school wearing a big, specifically the Raiders jersey or a jacket. Um, but I needed it. And I wore my winter hat. Uh, my winter hat, which I recently used uh, when I went to Philadelphia at the beginning of this month, where it was actually cold for you know, it was cold for Philadelphia. But yeah, I uh, I definitely was like, oh no, I'm not. I'm not like. I haven't gotten adjusted to it where like the cold really bothers me, but it was fucking cold today. And also, the sun was behind the clouds. Not great. The table is together, says Mr. Bob, but it's never coming apart. Uh, you missed those 90s jackets. Yeah, they were pretty great. Uh, yes, well, congratulations, Mr. Bob, on completing your table. Uh, yeah, it'll 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 come apart one day. It won't come back together when it does, but you'll 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 disassemble it. It'll take some force, but you'll you'll get it apart when you when it needs to. I'm glad it came together for you. But yeah, um, it's yeah, it's just fucking been cold. And I don't know what else to tell you. Around here, I got the duvet out. Uh, I got a big, big blanket. Um, that's been really good. Oh, I should. First off, I don't have these up. And secondly, we're now at 34 out of 40. So I can update that. I don't even have that. The goal is to hit 40, friends. The goal is always 40. If you would like to become a subscriber, you're more than welcome to. Uh, you want to give the sub to somebody in the community. We'll talk about that more in a bit. But I, I did want to update that I'm at 34 out of 40. And then drink a little water right now. I got a Christmas cup. Uh, there's, uh, there's too much water in it to turn it. So I'll just put it like that. Got a Christmas glass. Oh, you can kind of see it there. Christmas trees. There's some bears. It's lovely. Breaking out the Christmas glass. My mom and my dad have Christmas mugs. Mugs just for Christmas. And then they just sit in the cabinet the rest of the year. Uh, I'm not ne necessarily one for uh, glassware just for one holiday. But I can appreciate it. Even if it's not my jam. Um, hey, welcome, Tellera. Uh, uh, Dirty says, I lost track of my uh, Anaheim Duck starter jacket. Uh, somewhere after sophomore year. Yeah, I definitely... Oh, that's that's Dirty saying that. Yeah, I definitely had a... I had a Raiders jacket in like middle school. And it was pretty good. I grew out of it. Uh, Norcrash says, we finally are above zero degrees. Hell yeah. Uh, so that's nice. My cat has frost on the inside for... Or your car. Woo! Fuck. I got freaked out there for a second. Because I read that as cat. Your car has frost on the inside from yesterday that hasn't melted yet. Thank God. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lord Crashington, I got really scared for your cat having frost on it. That sounded bad. That is not what you said. Oh boy. Frost of the cat, indeed. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't want to be like the guy that talks about the weather, but shit's cold. I don't need that. I'm down here in South Carolina. I should like, I'm not saying I need to be wearing shorts, but I'm saying like, it should be comfortable. I should be able to go for a walk. You know? But no. It could be worse. I could be stuck in the snow. I could be in a city where they're just shutting the shit down. And they're like, don't go on the highways. Or like a city where people are just so terrible at uh, like driving in the snow. That they're that like you might as well just fucking give up. And just stay home. Be stay home because people are bad at driving in the snow like i don't have to deal with any of that so that's nice i have not had to leave the house you could ski on the roads here yeah no, no, no. i don't need that um it has been nice that i have no reason to go anywhere uh on what was it thursday yes thursday we went and got pizza I picked up pizza and brought that back and the pizza was still warm by the time we got back because it wasn't super cold here yet but i uh I have had no reason. Uh, speak, I earlier talked about my cousin who is married to the cousin of June, Diane Raphael. Um, uh, I'm going to be visiting with them. We don't know when they're coming. So hopefully they're coming uh, sometime uh, in the next couple of days and we'll, we'll go visit them. But that would be the first time I've left the house other than going to the mailbox since Thursday. And that's good for me. Uh, 
FedEx was supposed to deliver a package for me today. It's a model kit, uh, the red uh, um, uh, rider. I have built the white rider and the black rider this year. This is the red rider. The pale rider, I haven't built. That's the one. These are all based on the pale rider. Uh, it's from a video game. They're like boss uh, mobile suits. The red rider is on a FedEx truck, but it just didn't get to me. So then I'm getting it on Monday, which is when I was supposed to get it. But they were like, hey, actually, you're getting it early. You're going to get it today. And I was like, hell yeah, I'll get it today. And they were like, actually, no, you're not. All right. Uh, the freeze is no bueno. Fire sprinkler pipes burst in one of my neighbor's units today. Ugh. Uh, lost it. Thankfully, I only lost a couch uh, to the overflow leakage. Yikes. That's fucking awful. Friend of mine's, uh, her apartment building, uh, uh, one of the neighbors apparently um, has been getting drunk while they're cooking. And leading to their fire alarm going off, which means the fire alarm in the whole building goes off. And then the fire, uh, uh, the firefighters have to come. Uh, and apparently this has been a thing that happens. And she has a dog, uh, uh, my friend has a dog that is just got anxiety and fucking hates this goddamn fire alarm. And it sucks. And so I had uh, mean thoughts about the, the perpetrator of this issue. Also, it's fucking cold in 90% of the country. Also, it's cold where she is. Uh, nightmare. Yeah, it's a whole fucking thing, Lord Crashington. It's a whole goddamn thing. Uh, we're working on the other side of this penguin. We got one of the... Boop, boop, boop. We got one, we got one wing done. We're going to do the other wing now. And again, we got some fun colors on this because no one will see these colors. So we can just build up. Like that, which is fun to do. So build that, working on the wings. And this goes like that. Got it. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, it's a whole goddamn thing that she's dealing with. I don't don't envy that bullshit. I don't want any I don't want to do any of that. Uh, we need this and this and this. Uh, once again, folks, uh, this will be the whole stream. Once we finish this, we'll go back to the Ale Strike Gundam, which is the which has been a fun build so far. Uh, we are almost we're body complete on that kit. We have to do weapons and the and the backpack, which is going to be most of the kit because it's a specialized backpack. So it has all of these stupid stickers. You know how I feel about that, but that's the way it is. Uh, and then when that kit's done. We've got uh, this kit here, the Joagu, which is uh, the goofy, a goofy kit. This is all next on our agenda. This is Joagu right there. Joagu from the unicorn version of the Joagu. So once we finish the ale, this is the next thing we're building because my $10 patrons were like, I was like, hey, I got two new things. I can build the Joagu or I can build the uh, 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 ghouls mobile suit which I forget the name of but I have written down from um, uh, uh, G uh, witch and my $10 patrons were like Jagu build a weird friend build the weird friend if the tri-tip attachment for power Wars similar was a mech yes that is a fair comparison uh, I like to say like somebody saw an anteater and was like yeah all right We'll make that. We'll make that a mobile suit. Sure. Uh, it's a good, weird, goofy thing that I that I appreciate exists as a mobile suit. Uh, so when I saw that on Amazon, I was like, oh, "I'm gonna buy that." Yep, I'm buying that. Just went for it. All right. So then this goes like that. That is often like. I don't care about the unicorn. I don't care that it's from that. I was just like, that's a goofy looking mobile suit. If I post a photo of that mobile suit on Twitter, people who don't watch my streams all the time might want to watch my stream because they might see that and go, what What the fuck is that thing? Uh, or at the very least, people that like like to watch the streams but aren't like uh, ride or die about it might, might look at it and go like, oh, you know, I've been meaning to watch the streams. So that seems like a weird one. 
to to watch. Uh, and then people that uh, often watch the streams, like y'all, uh, it's just a weird mobile suit for you to for me, for you to watch me build. So I saw one a while ago and thought, "What the fuck is a zabungo? Hell yeah, mm, John! I got I got diminishing returns on viewership of Z the zabungo over the first zabungo kit that I built. Um, uh, uh, the, the, the first walking machine type from Zabungle, but the YouTube views on my Zabungle videos, the VOD, the VOD Zabungle video views are ridiculous because I think people were looking up Zabungle and came across my videos because I don't, I, I just assume there's not a lot of Zabungle content out there for, for people. So, so that those numbers have been good, which hopefully will encourage some people uh, to come and watch the streams because I do have my show description and all that. Uh, so I would hope that people will be like, oh yeah, all right. This seems like fun. Yes, I, I, Mr. Bob, I was for a time there the top Zabungle streamer. Which is not hard to do, but is something. Uh, I, on occasion, when I am building a, a, an obscure mobile suit or, or model kit, I am the top part of that. I am in the top 1% of um, uh, makers and crafting, which is weird because I don't have unbelievable view numbers that often. Uh, so it is strange that I at one time that I am in the top 1% uh, for that category. Uh, I mean, I am consistent about my streaming, so that, that helps. Anyway, enough about that more about me and streaming um this is the part of the stream where i'm going to talk to you about ways you can support what i do here everything i'm going to be talking to you about here is optional uh none of these things are things you have to do these are all things you could do if you were so inclined and of course i would appreciate it but this is just various ways to support what i do around these parts um uh First and foremost, if you're currently a subscriber, you can throw the Bear Cave, the Lego, the site, the moat in the chat. Uh, again, I'll talk very briefly about this stuff. They'll get back to building. But these are the ways to support what I do here. Uh, subscribing is the easiest way to support me through cash money, uh, uh, $5 or your Prime Gaming Token. You can, you know, uh, do that. Um, you could gift a sub to somebody in the community and be part of the gift sub leaderboard for this month. Uh, as you can see. We do have Aristofan as our as our gift sub uh, person. You could join uh, that. We are at 34 subscribers. The goal is to be at 40. You could help me get closer to that goal uh, if you wanted. Um, if you were thinking, I didn't I didn't get Pat a Christmas gift. What if I gifted a sub to somebody in the community? That would be a gift for them and Pat. Uh, also, uh, earlier tonight, Harold, who uh, who is a great supporter of the streams, uh, Harold. Uh, gave 110 bits, putting Kim at the top of the bits leaderboard. Because uh, that's another way to support what I do is through the bits, the bits, the bits. Um, those aren't the only ways to support me. That's just if you don't want to leave Twitch and you just want to support me right here on Twitch. Uh, the alternative to that is to go to my Patreon. I have a Patreon. Uh, there are uh, different rewards for different tiers. There's a one dollar, three dollar, five dollar, and ten dollar tier. Again, you get different different rewards for those tiers. Uh, take a look over at uh, Patreon.com/patbear. Uh, it is rolling sub subscription, so if you join today, you won't get billed again until Christmas Eve uh, of uh, not Christmas Eve, but the 24th of January. You know what I meant by that. Unless you subscribe for a year up front, you could do that too, I guess. Um, Let's see, I got my Patreon. Uh, also, I have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash patbear. It's free to subscribe, but there's a membership. And $2 a month, you get my Wednesday video on Tuesday. If you want to see the very last Do You Remember, which comes out next Wednesday, you could see it on Tuesday a day early. And then you'll be some of the first people to see my new series, which starts uh, the, the first Wednesday of January, which is, of course... Uh, uh, the 4th of January, I have a brand new series coming out, um, which I decided that tonight I will tell you the name of. My new uh, series that starts January 4th and will be every Wednesday for the entire year, 2022, uh, 23, I should say, is called Barely Rehearsed. Barely Rehearsed is a improv, uh, not improv, sorry. Instead of doing background of characters, which was improv, this is 
rehearsed. It's barely rehearsed, but I'm going to be doing character monologues or personal essays, funny, funny uh, uh, words will come out of my mouth. Uh, I have to figure out the exact like intro for it, but barely rehearsed, B-A-E-R-Y-L, uh, L-Y, uh, rehearsed, I should say. Wow, I'm all over the place here. You can tell it's the first time I've said these words out loud in this sequence. Uh, but barely rehearsed is my new project coming out next year. Um, it will be some stuff I've written in the past. It'll be some new stuff. It will, there will be character voices. There will just be my own voice saying some stuff. Uh, there will be mini, uh, sketches, uh, probably not costumes, most likely from this seat and not like different locations. Cause then I got to mic myself and I can't use this mic for it. Cause it's just easier to use this microphone. Um, but it will be, yeah, it'll be me doing, uh, uh some bits that are barely rehearsed. Uh, I will be off book. I'll tell you that, but I won't do a lot of prep. Uh, but it'll be yeah, written material. I have been jonesing to do some fucking actual legit comedy, like some straight up comedic work. Uh, I've been craving it and this will force me to write comedy pieces and perform comedy pieces. Uh, there may be, through the course of the year, stuff that I may have some of my friends write for me. Uh, and I will make it clear when it is a piece that is written for me. So it won't necessarily always be me doing the writing, uh, but it'll always be me performing. Uh, and I'm very excited about having the opportunity to do that. Uh, so I want to announce that tonight because I thought that would be fun to announce. Um, anyway, there are, uh, there are other ways to support what I do here. Uh, those were monthly ways. Uh, there's one-time donations uh, that you can donate. And everything I make through, which I'll put the links there to those donations. Everything I make through one-time donations through YouTube, uh, which also includes AdSense. So watching my videos helps me. Through Patreon and through Twitch. All goes into a fund and I buy model kits and Lego sets uh, and all kinds of and gear. Um, uh, the, uh, the ale that I'm building, the Joagu that I'm starting soon. Um, those are all stuff that I purchased thanks to your generosity and I appreciate it very much. Now, my buddy Dave, who does not watch the streams, but did see this on my wish list, picked up this penguin, which is obviously not done yet, but will be by the end of the stream, off my Amazon wish list, specifically so I would build it on Christmas. You could buy something from my Amazon wish list and it would jump the queue and become the next thing that I built. So after the Jagu, I won't I won't build from my wish list. I'll build the thing you bought. That could be a Lego set, a Pokemon kit, uh, a model kit of various things, uh, inexpensive kits, very expensive kits. If you wanted to, you could buy one of the kits that is on the poll that I have uh, that I'm asking people to vote on what I should build or what I should buy with my uh, gift card to Amazon, the expensive model kit that I should buy. You could buy one of those expensive kits on that list. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend it, but you could do that. You just like cut out the middleman and buy me that kit. Uh, and there's some gear at the bottom because it's always nice to have some gear. And sometimes people are like, I want to support the stream, Pat. But I don't know anything about model kits. I don't know what you want. You could just buy that. Uh, that is an option that you have if you were so uh, inclined. Um, you could do that. Uh, there's a throne wish list, which is the alternative to Amazon because it's nice to have alternatives. We'll get back to building very soon. If you're just joining us, I'm just going through my ad reads in between, uh, you know, just taking a break, talking about ways you can support the channel then we'll, and the stream, and then we'll get back to building. Um, also, you can go to USA Gundam Store and buy a gift card there. And if you buy a gift card to USA Gundam Store, send me a DM on Twitter because my DMs are open with the gift card code, and I will buy something at USA Gundam Store. Um... I have a Discord. If you want to support me for free, you can go to my Discord and do that there. That's another way to hang out with nice people. Um, again, I should mention that you can go to uh, this. If you wanted to, you could vote on what kit, expensive kit that's on Amazon on my wish list that I will purchase. You can go there and, and do that. Uh, vote for a model kit that I should buy. Uh, that is a poll that is running. You can check that out. If you're watching this later on YouTube, what's up, YouTube? Uh, that poll will probably still be open. It'll be open until 5 p.m. Eastern on Monday. Uh, Pat Bear's Anime Club uh, is a video series that I do that you should watch uh, the Pat Bear's Anime Awards. I gave out some awards like most obviously based on a light novel, which is just like 
for the anime with a very long descriptive name um, uh, and best initial D reference because there was a good one. Uh, Do You Remember is an ongoing video series uh, that I'll be concluding uh, next week. But right now, this is the last one. You can check out, or the second last one. This is about the Yule Lads. I hastily researched the best uh, Icelandic folklore that exists. Yule Lads. If you want to learn about, specifically the Yule Lads, the 13 go- the sons of a giantess who cause mischief based on their name, like Meat Hook, who uses a hook to steal meat, uh, which is my favorite of all of them. Uh, door slammer is not bad either. Uh, 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 there's a there's one who likes to lick your pie plates from all the crumbs. They're just like weird goofs. I don't know. There, I did a whole. Do you remember about uh, the Yule lads? Because they're the best. Um, all right. So now I'm going to talk about some uh, uh, anime that I watched. We'll get into some anime chat. Um, and then we'll probably talk about some other things. But first, I have to drink some water. Uh, and I will I will be doing that right now because we're going to dramatically transition to the overhead. Uh, continue working on this penguin. And I'm going to drink a little bit of water right now. Water. It's pretty incredible. I'm a big fan. I just want to check my notifications here. Uh, yeah, people like that. Okay. All right, great. Let's get back into it. Um, let's get into continuing to work on this. I believe we are on the plumage here, the front of our pengi. Uh, and now we can talk about Spy Family Part 2, Episode 13 of 13. Both episodes of the, the anime that I'm talking about tonight are the finales of their season. Um, I'll say this right off the bat for Spy Family Part 2. Season 2 has been announced and a movie has been announced. That's great. I did not watch the trailer announcement for those two things, um, but I do know that they exist and I think that's great. Uh, I am not surprised there will be more Spy Family. I am... Uh, a little surprised that there already is going to be a movie, but not that surprised. Um, here's what I'll say. Uh, we'll talk about the episode. Overall, I feel like they didn't need to do the, the two parts for this. Uh, the second half of part two was pretty boring. It had some great character development, but the only real overarching plot for this part of the season was the general plot of the reason we're doing all this, which is get our guy, uh, Lloyd, close to Donovan Desmond. I had to look up his full name, Donovan Desmond. So, like, the Donovan Desmond of it all is the only important part. Whereas the first part of part two was, hey, these terrorists are putting bombs on fucking dogs, y'all, and we got to stop this shit and help these dogs. And maybe one of these dogs is going to become the the fourth member of the family. So, like, let's get to that shit. Let's get this shit taken care of. We got to save these dogs. Oh, God, everyone is in peril. Not just Lloyd. Not just, you know, like, everybody. Anya's in in peril now. Holy shit, we got to figure this stuff out. And then it was like, all right, let's have an underground tennis tournament. What? All right. Let's let's have Anya go shopping with Becky. Okay. Hey. Lloyd's assistant is in love with him. All right. Um this episode this episode needs you to at some point or maybe right now feel like you are invested in the Growing up and development of Damien, Anya's classmate, who is the son, of the neglected son of Donovan Desmond. Uh, I don't have such feelings for Damien. Damien is fine. The episodes where Damien shows up is okay. I think I like Damien's like 
uh, uh, goons better, his friends who are there because they are also of a status that are there to be his friends, but actually genuinely love him and support him and are psyched for his successes. Uh, they are good, like left and right hand men. Uh, I think them reacting and being psyched for Damien's like that moments uh, is great and is the best part of Damien as a character. Anyway, uh, Lloyd wants to use the fact that Damien is going to check in with uh, 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 Desmond um, as, a, as an opportunity to get close to this very elusive man. That's the whole reason that Anya is uh, adopted by Lloyd. That's the whole reason she's in the school is opportunities to get close to this guy who doesn't trust anyone that's very elusive. That's the whole fucking thing, right? Anyway, Damien starts to get nervous and is going to, like, back out. He's got, like, cold feet because he's like, I don't know, what I, you know. And then Anya, who knows, Anya is encouraging and supportive, but f seemingly forgets and doesn't understand why. But basically, she just, like, iterates that, like, you know, um, like, my dad's scary, too, because he gets mad when I don't do well. But I trust him and respect him. So I will tell him when I do when I do bad. Even if I don't do bad on tests, I still tell him. Which, like, Lloyd is like, I don't know where she's going with this. But it works because then Desmond's like, or Damien's like, all right, I'm going I'm to go talk to my dad. Um, uh, and Lloyd kind of like, Lloyd's like, I didn't really get close as much as I would have liked to. But I am at the point where, like, this dude, like, I know more about this dude. Specifically, I know that this dude, I'm not even sure if he trusts his kids. Now, my theory is that it's not about trust. I think that um, Donovan Desmond is just a socially awkward dude that doesn't know how to, like, encourage his kids and talk to his kids. That is my pet theory based on little to no evidence other than, uh, hey, Bobby, welcome. Uh, we're talking about Spy Family, uh, the, the, the latest episode of Spy Family, the conclusion of part two of season one of spy family. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Uh, so Damien tells Desmond about his success in school and his failure. And his father's like, all right, keep up the good work. Uh, you know, don't let down the family name. Um, and then Lloyd returns to Anya and Yor and Anya is like asleep for some reason. Um, and that's it. Bobby just gifted five subs to the community thank you so much bobby for gifting those subs um uh to one bad uh, veggie uh what's at the applause here uh jatsu 84 uh death likes cats jeff gersman and maddie hawks uh uh jeff was in the chat on tuesday for my uh uh recently so these are people that have recently been around uh thank you so much for that um, uh, we did right before you gifted those subs, we did drop uh, a sub down to, we were down again to 33, which means we're currently at 38 subs. Uh, we are so close to ending our, uh, our, our goal of 40. Uh, thank you so much, Bobby, for those gifted subs. Uh, now Jeff has to tune in more often indeed, because now Jeff, it has cool, sub, uh, gift, uh, or sorry, cool emotes. Um, but yeah, we're now at 38 out of 40. Uh, because of someone, we just, we literally, right before you did that, we dropped down to 33. But, uh, Pat, I try to keep up with you and your streams uh, are a bright start in my life. Thank you for all that you do. Happy holidays. Bobby, happy holidays to you. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for supporting the community by gifting subs um, uh, and letting people not see ads. Uh, I can tell you that, like, Jatsu is, is like, a fairly consistent, like, semi-regular, so it's nice to have that. Um, uh, and also it's fun that Jeff and I now subscribe to each other's channels. That's just fun for me. Um, uh, so thank you for that. I appreciate it. Oh, I got, we're, we're so close to being done with this penguin and then we just got to build the little tree. Um, okay. So, um, I will say that I don't know if doing a two core spy family was the best choice. Now we did get bond. Uh, who is, who rules the dog rules so we did get the cool dog and I'm grateful for the, for the cool dog 
but it to me it took a uh, it kind of like instead of going like hey, hey, hey raising up it went like hey. it kind of like plateaued um and that's a weird way to do a show that is the inherent issue with adapting a manga into an anime is that manga like has like ebbs and flows because there's like seasonal stuff and time of year and just it's a continued story and you just want to keep going whereas like you can adapt that to an anime for the first season and like cut some stuff or like refocus some things or like just you know often the first story in a series is like does like move along because they are trying to attract readers by just like having a cool wild story and then eventually there's like all right well we got as many readers as we're probably gonna get we'll just kind of like go with it for now and then maybe we'll add something later and have like suspense uh, eventually so uh, i'm excited for season two i'm excited for uh, the movie i like spy family a lot but I was kind of hoping this last episode would be have a little more action. There was a little bit of action in Uzaki Chen wants to hang out season two, uh, or or Uzaki Chen wants to hang out double, as it is also referred to, um, because oh this flips around, and this goes like that. Okay. Hell yeah. This penguin is done. And then this penguin goes on here. Like this. There it is. Penguin's on there. We got a penguin. Penguin time. Oops. Penguin. Ca penguin's light came off. That's not good. We don't want that. <coughs> hmm, sorry. Uh, so, uh... Usagi Chen wants to hang out season two. Uh, we are now building towards New Year's on this. We started on Easter. Or sorry, we started on Christmas. Uh, Christmas was the embarrassing time where uh, all of the plot points unraveled. So if you haven't watched this series, uh, season two has been about uh, a couple of friends who bother each other but like each other very much. Uh, uh, Sakurai and Hana. Hana Uzaki. Uh, Hana's dad uh, works at a gym, and Uzaki started going to that gym. Uh, not Uzaki, I should say. Uh, Sakurai started going to that gym. And through the conversations, they became kind of friendly. And then at a certain point, they started talking about uh, a bunch of different things, including Hana. And then on Christmas, we it finally, we knew about it, but they finally found out about it. That this guy who's been going to the gym knows uh hana and they're close and that was a big awkward thing and everyone felt awkward so then sakurai got drunk so that he could leave he was basically like oh i'll get drunk and then have to just like peace out and that'll be a good uh reason for me to go is that like oh i'm definitely drunk i gotta get out of here uh we're building some presents right now for this so let's get some presents together um so he's like, that'll be a that'll be a good way out. I'll just be like, oh, I'm too drunk. Anyway, he gets way too drunk. Um, and they have to, like, get him back to his apartment. And then Hannah walks him into the apartment. And then a uh, she goes for a hug. And then he goes to what appears to be kiss her. But instead, he just collapses on his futon. And it's awkward because she's there as well. Uh, but that was not, that was, you know, that was just an awkward moment. Uh, and then the next day, turns out he doesn't remember because he got drunk. So she's embarrassed by that. And also she's mad that he forgot. He didn't fucking forget everybody. He was just like, he's feeling so awkward about it that he was like, I can't tell her. I have to pretend like uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't see it that, uh, you know, I don't remember. Uh, anyway, it leads to them on new year's uh going to a shrine and w watching the sun come up on january 1st um meanwhile he has been uh people have been like hey you gotta fucking take care of this shit you gotta like be honest about how you feel and people just being like generally exacerbated like he's like his big reveal to his friend and his boss is 
I found out that through, you know, through talking to her dad that Hana likes me. And they're like, yeah, no, duh. Everybody but you knew that. And maybe Hana. But everybody knows that she likes you. Duh. And they don't follow up with, and you like her, dumbass. But they might as well say that. They don't. And he's just like, what? Everybody knows? And it's like, yeah, everybody fucking knows. You got to handle this shit. You got to take care of business, son. Uh, let's see. So then I need one of these. We're building a tree, by the way, here. Building building a Christmas tree. Oops, I got to get this on here. Um, so the sun comes up on the new day and he goes to grab her hand and she's like surprised by it. And then he says the, the, those immortal words. I'm looking forward to hanging out with you next year because he doesn't fucking say that shit. He doesn't say that he has interest in her or that he wants to start dating her or that he has feelings for her or that he knows even if he was dumb and be like, I know you have feelings for me. He doesn't say any of that shit. He didn't say any of that shit. Because why would he say something like that that would be helpful? Because also there's more manga. And I guess I got to fucking read the manga now because I don't know if there's going to be a third season of of Ozaki Chen wants to hang out. I don't expect there necessarily to be a third season, but that's the end of the season uh, of of season two is them confirming their fucking friendship and not dating. Ugh. Ugh. I love the show because it is funny and fun and I generally don't, I often, often, I should say often, do not enjoy um, the kinds of shows that, wait, is this, it doesn't show the inside of this here. I just have to make sure I put this together right. All right, so we got, just making sure, because this is the last step here. So, got that, got that, got that. Okay, I did that. The two colored pegs there, got those. That, 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 that. Okay, I did that. It makes sense that there's a stump on this tree, but I... Okay. All right, we got to do more of these and we'll get that together. All right, anyway. I like this show a lot. I was happy with season two. Uh, The uh, paid for, the sponsored episode that is not part of the manga... Uh, That was the water park, the indoor like water park was a weird episode. I don't think it was weirder than the episode where they just went to the hometown of the guy that created uh, Detective Conan, the the episode that was paid for by the tourism board. Uh, If that means the show exists, it's because they have one episode that is just not from the manga and it's just a sponsored episode. I guess I don't hate that. It's fucking weird that that exists, but I don't think I necessarily hate it. Uh, I, ju- I again, I just think that it is odd. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I do think it is just very strange. Uh, but I think I liked this. This episode was this this season's weird extra episode that was just a um, promotional episode was better because it. Um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, uh, it. Felt it like worked with the plot, whereas the one last season was just like a weird out of nowhere episode that definitely didn't feel right. So, overall, uh, that is the end of Spy Family Part Two, Season One, I should say. And Zuck Chin was hanging out Season Two. Uh, two shows that I liked a lot um, that I look forward to watching every week. On Monday, uh, we will have a new episode. I believe we have an episode of Witch Mercury because we didn't have it last week. So, we have one week, and then there's, I think, another week off. So the following week is off for New Year's stuff. Um, and uh, we'll have season, or sorry, episode 13 of Beast Tamer. I'll talk about that on Monday, which is a Saturday show, but I was covering that on Monday. Uh, so we'll be able to, to finish up talking about those shows and getting ready for the new season. Uh, the in-between, between like new shows starting and all these shows wrapping up, uh, the fall season always has the most gap between episode or between stuff. Uh, and so if you're wondering, Pat, what are you going to do in the, in the, in that time? Uh, the answer is, uh, I'm going to talk about manga a lot. I will, 
because I've also I think I've caught up on all the shows I want to watch this season. Um, uh, because I don't want to finish Made War. I already talked about Bochi, which I've I'm gonna finish Bochi. Uh, The Rock. I think I have talked about everything I want to talk about from this season of anime. So the only thing left is to just talk about manga. So get ready for a lot of manga talk. I probably will get caught up with uh, for next Thursday. I will get caught up on and do a recap of all the episodes I, I haven't watched of um, uh, uh, Doomsday with my dog. The final for Bochi was real good. Hell yeah, Lashberg. I haven't seen it yet, but I, I'm looking forward to checking it out. Um, but yeah, uh, Doomsday with my dog is a series that I, I think I will probably get caught up on um, as a thing to talk about on Thursday. Uh, because Monday I know I can talk about two shows. Uh, Witcher Mercury is not done, so but there is going to be a week off, so I will be keeping up with that, talking about that on Mondays. But all right, this uh, this thing is done, so I'm going to take a photo of it. Uh, we have some time left in the stream, so I'm going to go and uh, start working on the um, uh, 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 the ale Gundam, the L Strike Gundam. So let me just take a photo of this this penguin. Actually, I think I should do this photo. I should take it this way so that I can see the presence. Great. And my mom loves penguins, so I will be showing my mom this Lego set, which I keep op I keep picking up in a spot I shouldn't and then causing myself distress. Yeah, I pick it from the base. But yeah, uh, well, I'll just... Eh, this, doesn't, this doesn't really want to stay on here well. I want to, if I want to immediately talk about a thing I don't like about this Lego set, the the penguin does not want to stay on the base too easily here. But here we go. Let me tell you about this penguin. We got some movement on the arms. I'm just going to take this off right now. We got some movement here. Uh, does not love its base. Penguin itself, very good. Good friend. Uh, I like the presence. I think that is neat. The different shape presence. Uh, I like the tree. I like that inside the base is the uh, the big snowflake. Um, just saw that Eminence in uh, in Shadow is going to be twenty episodes. Yeah, that's a, a two core or a dual uh, season show that I'm not watching, and that's fine. That show can go on as long as it wants. Uh, it's not for me. I don't like the premise of it. That's why I never I gave up on the manga after like three, and then the anime like uses stuff that's in the light novel but isn't in the manga yet and really confused a lot of people and I think made it worse because it made it more like the movie Kick-Ass. And I was like, this does not need to be more like that. It's already so edgelordy. It's even more edgelordy than I thought. Like, I'm good. Anyway, I finished this Lego set. Put that over there. I'm going to work on that more. I got some extra Legos here. I'm going to have to show that penguin to my mom who loves penguin stuff. Now we can work. We're going back to the L strike. So let me, uh, let me get rid of this penguin photo here. There's the L strike. Not as fun now, friends. I mean, this is cool, but it's no. I found the missing piece on the leg that I had dropped. I found where that was on the floor. So now this kit is done here. It's body complete. We just need to do uh, some weapons. And then all of the stickers for the backpack. Uh, Bobby Dressro says, I love it. I had an old improv scene recently about whether or not penguins are a Christmas animal. And this reminded me of that. Nice. Because they're, you know, because they're, they're a pole animal. Uh, you know, I could see that. I could see that being a fun discussion. Uh, let's build some weapons for the ale strike. But damn, that kit was fun. I, I enjoyed putting that together. Um, we're just going to fill our time here with some, uh, some ale strike building get back into that uh and then i'll completely finish it on uh on monday stream on the boxing day stream we know of course we're not really into but we don't get super into boxing day around here but it uh, is the name of it um and then i will be yeah tomorrow i'll be watching some anime um look at you know I always looking forward to, to watching the animes so Watch some anime tomorrow. Watch, watch Witcher Mercury. Uh, get caught up on the last episode of Beast Tamer, which to me, 
doesn't need a 13th episode. I don't know why that's 13 because they defeated the big bad in the last episode. Again, and now we're at the point where it's past the manga and I'm just like, oh yeah, this show keeps going, huh? Uh, I now know kind of what's going to happen in the manga, the next couple chapters of the manga, which is fun. Um, uh, I'm at the point now with... Um, what am I reading? Uh, oh, uh, monthly releases of... Um, uh, um, how to, uh, was it rebuild the kingdom, uh, the rebuild the kingdom manga. I don't know or remember why I can't remember that. How a reluctant hero rebuilt the kingdom that, that one, not reluctant, um, realistic, uh, a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. That's the title. Um, that the second half of that show, which came out early this year is, is obviously based on the light novel. Uh, we're nowhere near in the manga uh, full at the, by the end of 2022. Nowhere near the end of the anime because it's based on the light novel. So it's just like very strange. Uh, Kuma 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 Bear uh, is is now at the manga is way beyond because uh, it's just so much far ahead that when the season two of Kuma 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 Bear comes out, it'll be fine. Also, Bofuri is getting a season two next year. Uh, and I'm very excited about mo more Bofuri. If you haven't seen Bofuri, um, it's the only virtual reality anime that I like. It's an anime that takes place in a virtual reality video game. And it's because it is like a girl that only focused on defense and is just like enjoying her time in a video game in her own weird way. And her various and her encouraging people to also play the game weird. So I like it a lot. Uh, because Maple is just a great character. Also, there's very little stuff that happens in the in real life, and I just think that is a smart choice on their part to not get focused on her like doing well in school. Because who cares? It's all about her playing the game, and she's not trapped in it, so it's not a death game, which is which is fun. Um, so I would recommend both free get caught up on it before season two comes out. It's gonna be fun. Um. Bobby started watching My Hero Academia and right on time for them to add My Hero Academia characters to Fortnite. Yep. So strange, but yeah, they're in Fortnite. Uh, this season has been beautiful, brutal. The budget, they got an increase in the budget, it feels like. Maybe because the movie, I think the movies did really well. Uh, that's my only guess as to why they suddenly are just look. it's just suddenly looking so fucking good. Because it always looks good, but right now, oh boy. This season looks real good. Uh, the fact that they do it seasonally instead of weekly helps a lot because it could be another Naruto slash Baruto One Piece, you know, weekly series. Uh, the fact that it's doing seasonal is so great. Um, and it's continuous seasonal pretty much, but they do take breaks. And that's been good for the show. I mean, that's one of the reasons why Black Clover uh, finished up was because it was not popular enough to justify the cost of doing that weekly series. Also, the last filler arc was terrible. And they're going to do a movie that will hopefully end the series. Uh, they're going to finish the series via movie, which is like, oh, I hope it's good. So I like Black Clover a lot. So I hope this movie ends up being okay. But ooh, who knows? Um... Lord Crash says, loved Glass Onion. Uh, it did a nice job of taking what you thought it was about from the trailers and turned it into something else. Hell yeah. I have not seen it. I talked about this earlier in the stream. I'm, I don't currently have Netflix, so I don't have any of these Netflix shit. So, you know, I don't know what's going on on the, uh, on the old Netflix. Uh, happy for people to enjoy stuff. But yeah, let me know. Hey, uh, did you buy anything on the Steam sales? Uh, uh, I... I got for free um, uh, a Metro Exodus game. I don't, I don't, I'm never going to play it, but I got it for free on Epic. And I got Lego Builder, uh, Builder's Journey, which I've been playing. I will be um, starting a new save when I stream it next year because I think that would be more fun to have it uh, be fresh and start from the beginning. But uh, I've been I'm enjoying what I play to that. Uh, I'm trying to get like my head around the controls sometimes. They're a little... Finicky. Uh, the camera control is uh, leaves 
uh, much to be desired. But it's a fun, cool little like diorama puzzle solver thing that I, that I'm into. But yeah, I want to hear what games you bought on Steam, what you're planning to play, if you have any time off, what you're looking forward to in the new year. That's kind of stuff. Um, I don't know what I'd want from the Steam sale. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, sometimes they're just putting stuff up that you already have. But, like, maybe, like, the PC Miles Morales will go on sale or something. Like, I don't know. Like, there might be something that comes up that uh, piques your interest and uh, gets you uh, invested in and taking a look. We got a sticker. This kit puts all the stickers on the head and then the end of the kit. And I don't hate that, but I, you know, I still have a lot of stickers left, though. I don't love that. Uh, you got Ho-Ho Holiday DLC for Little Inferno, which is a good uh, uh, time uh, burning holiday-related items for a uh, new reason to replay the game. Hell yeah, that sounds great, Lord Crash. Yeah, I, I, you know, I just want to know what you're, what you're all are up to, what you, what you got going on uh, for, for these holidays. Um, again, I've been playing the Lego and, and really enjoying it. Uh, I haven't gone back to Let's Build a Zoo um, in a while. Because I've been playing Hearthstone and Marvel Snap and now Lego Build uh, Builder's Journey. Um, oh boy, uh, I I haven't I don't like the Death Knight class in uh, in Hearthstone. Just don't. It does a bunch of things, but I don't think I like any of the things it does, and I'm surprised by that i was expecting to at least like to find some kind of takeaway from it but uh no there's no takeaway i just don't really uh like that class that's the takeaway um you know it's new and there haven't been a lot of support cards for it um so hopefully there'll be more uh mostly i've been playing uh the deck that i was playing before with with a few new death rattles but i have a death rattle rogue wild deck that i really like that uh is not the shitty death rattle deck that the impossible uh, to lose if you get the right combination deck. Mine's a more uh, nonsense deck that loses on its own all the time anyway. So I'm I don't have the bad one. I have my version. Um, so I've been playing a lot of that. But yeah, let me know in the, in the in the comments there what you've been playing, what you've been watching. If you're gonna go to the movies, if you're just like, hey, I'll ask this like. What if the internet goes out at your place? Or what? What you know? What are the? What, what do you? What do you got? What do you got? Your backups? What are your backups right now? Uh, I I need to pull some YouTube stuff. I'm gonna pull. I haven't watched any of Giant Bomb's Game of the Year stuff, so I'm gonna be pulling that off YouTube just to have. That's gonna be my like break glass in case of emergency. That also is that for me was always the like obviously they did it earlier this year and the last couple of years they did it in January. But uh, the Giant Bomb discussion stuff was always my week between Christmas and New Year stuff, like new stuff that comes out. Because like a lot of content creators take that week off on YouTube, which they should and I want them to. So like there'll be less stuff for me to watch that week. And some people do top loading and they preload and get some stuff to go up and just schedule it. But like there's always to me less stuff on that week. So that's when giant bombs like stuff like i'm gonna pull that and just have it in the folder and then i can just go and and watch that at my leisure uh that's the plan anyway uh n13 oops oh no uh little question says uh, i was going to listen to the first part of next letters uh, game of the year but they started with best story and i had to pass to avoid spoilers yeah they don't go they don't go super in depth with spoilers. There are some spoilers of stuff that like hey, this is the like if they don't Next Lander handles their shit in a way that I appreciate where if they don't think that they're going to talk about the game again, like this game, this is the only category for this game. It's not going to be any of our personal top 10s. I'm going to say my piece about this game. They'll do that. But if it's like they're not going to say the end of like um, uh, uh, they're not gonna say like whatever happens at the end of uh, uh, Horizon to Dawn, uh, because they don't want you know that that like no they'll come that they'll that will come later, uh, and I appreciate that I, you know I think that's a a good approach to it. Uh, you're doing stuff, so it wasn't a place to move around. I had to skip for now. Yeah, I hear you. 
I understand what you're saying. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not done with that episode from Thursday because I had some other stuff that I wanted to hear sooner that was timely. But I'll come back to that. Come back to all that. Um, go. All right. All we have left of this kit is the backpack, which we will get to on uh, Monday. That's going to be Monday. He's going to be working on this and then the Zhuagu on Monday as well. That'll be the... Uh, yeah, because we got this is going to require some stickers, uh, and uh, and for the backpack. But that's the last step is the backpack. The backpack is also where the beam sabers go. So this kit does not have a beam saber yet. I'm not even going to take a photo of this yet. I'm going to wait until Monday because I want uh, uh, tonight's photo to all be all about this uh, this penguin who does not like to stay on its stand. If I want to give it, if I was going to give a rating to this, I would say that's a bummer. The, the bear, the uh, Valentine's Day bear, and the Valentine's Day bee did not fall off their stands. I'll say that. Penguin, what's going on with you? But yeah, we'll be finishing up uh, the ale there. But we're going to wrap things up. Uh, Jatsu, I do believe it is tap heavy. Also, Jatsu, uh, enjoy having... Um, uh, uh, you were gifted a sub tonight, so enjoy that. Um uh, Lord Crashton says, uh, "Seems like the Penguin platform should be a bit bigger." Yeah, that that, that that's that. I agree. It's it's only one little thing connecting it there, but yeah, doesn't really want to stay on the tree. I had to really force off, which is great. Um, but it's a cute build, and I'm happy to do it. I love doing seasonal stuff and one night uh, builds uh, because a lot of my stuff takes multiple streams, uh, and some of y'all can't watch multiple streams in a row. So a one-off is great for you to be able to like watch me start a kit and end a kit. Uh, that makes me happy to be able to do that. Um, once again, I'm going to put the link in here. If you haven't voted on what model kit you would like me to spend uh, my big gift card to Amazon to purchase, uh, which I'll be building next year, you can go to that link there and see that. I'm going to click on that link to see. Uh, I mean, I assume, yes, the Heavy Arms uh, Eagle is still winning. Um, we've had a few more votes, not a lot of support for the Eclipse. Providence is picking up steam a little bit. It's at 30%, 32%. So it could get a push. Who knows? It we got more time. Um, I mean, I'll be retweeting tomorrow to see if we can get a few more people to, to vote on it. Uh, we are going to raid. That is how we end every stream around here. We always end with a raid. We're going to find somebody doing cool shit out there that we want to go support and we will support them. Uh, I don't know who we're going to go raid. Uh, cause I'm not sure who's streaming this Saturday evening cause it is Christmas Eve. So I don't know who's out there doing stuff. Um, I mean, loading ready run is doing a thing, but that's a pre-tape if I remember correctly, uh, or most of it is pre-tape and then they might be live to talk. Um, so I'm not, I'm not saying we're going to go there. Uh, oh, it's over says Harold. Thank you, Harold. I knew they'd be wrapping up, um, because you know. Uh, it was good. Yeah, I'm going to be watching. That's what I'm going to be watching now. I'm going to watch this into um, uh, uh, um, Kathleen's stream because I do love uh, going into watching Kathleen's. It's all going to be uh, holiday music, Christmas music on Kathleen's stream, uh, Brave New Face. Xandra is playing Tear Down, and Xandra is – oh, she's playing the, uh, the uh, campaign. We never streamed the campaign. I just did weird, wacky stuff in Tear Down. Um, but uh, yeah, Xandra is, is doing that. So we're going to go raid Xandra. We love Xandra around here. Uh, she's good people. Uh, Xandra made all of my emotes, as you know. So uh, so let's go raid Xandra. Please come along on this raid. Uh, Xandra rules. You're going to have a good time uh, hanging out with her um, uh, and continuing the holiday season. And I'm not going to spoil what's going on in the background. Uh, Bobby says, happy holiday, Pat, and everyone in chat. Well, thank you very much for that, Bobby. Uh, thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Merry Christmas. I'll see you on Boxing Day on the 26th. Um, but we're going to go hang out with Xandra. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you all soon. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Merry Christmas to the Vaughn.